Good afternoon and welcome to the subcommittee on planning dispositions and concessions. I am council member Ben Kalis, chair of this committee. You can tweet me at Ben Kalis. We are joined by council member Ruben Diaz Sr., who is always on time, if not early, and council member Chaim Deutsch, chair of the Jewish Caucus. Today we'll be voting to approve four projects we heard on March 6th, land use item 347, Cooper Square, MHA phase one, land use items 357, uh, 332, Eldert Street, Land Use Item 358, 63 Stockholm Street, and Land Use Item 366, 187 West 133rd Street. Land Use Item 347, Cooper Square MHA Phase 1 in the districts of Council Members Chin and Council Member Rivera in Manhattan include 21 limited equity co-op buildings totaling 327 units and 22 commercial spaces which sit on a community land trust. The Cooper Square Housing Association is renovating these buildings in a multi-phase project through HPD's Green Housing Preservation Program. The renovations will include capital improvements as well as energy efficiency, water conservation upgrades to facilitate this renovation work. HPD is seeking the termination of a prior tax exemption from this site and a new 40-year Article 11 tax exemption pursuant to Section 577 of the Private Housing Finance Law. Council members Chin and Rivera are supportive of this project. We will vote on two projects, which we heard together, land use 357, 332 Eldert Street in Councilmember Espinal's district, and land use item 358, 63 Stockholm Street in Councilmember Reynosa's district, both in Brooklyn. Land use item 357, 332 Eldert Street will facilitate the development of a new building with four units of affordable housing, and land use 358, 63 Stockholm Street will facilitate the development of a new building with 20 units of affordable housing. Both projects, which will be developed on vacant city-owned lots, will serve a range of incomes from 30 to 80% of AMI and include 10% set aside for formerly homeless. HPD seeks a project approval for land use 357 and for land use 358, seeks an urban development action area designation project and disposition approval. Council members Reynoso and Espinal are supportive of these projects. Finally, we will vote on land use item 366, 167 West 133rd Street, Council Member Perkins District in Manhattan. HPD is seeking the termination of the prior exemption for the site and a new 40-year Article 11 tax exemption pursuant to Section 577 of the Private Housing Finance Law. The building, a 15-unit low-income co-op, was carved out of the most recent round of third-party transfer program. That is a very good thing. This means that the city is no longer taking property away from people who own their homes, uh, particularly in things called HDFC co-ops. This is a very good thing. This is the second project of its kind in Councilmember Perkins District. The 40-year tax exemption will be retroactive for eight years. This eliminates the tax debt that would have been used to take these properties away from the homeowners. And the current HDFC will retain ownership for the building, another key when uh, council member Perkins is supportive of this application, I will now call a vote to approve land use items 347, 357, 358, and 366. Council, please call the roll. Kalos. Aye. Diaz. Aye. Deutsch. Aye. The land use items are approved by a vote of three on the affirmative, no negatives, no abstentions, and will be referred to a land use committee for a vote. We will leave the vote open. We will note for the record there is a letter in support from Councilmember Rivera dated March 18th. <laughs> Committee Council, please continue calling the roll. I want to talk to you when you have a, both of you when you have a moment after you vote. Continuing the vote on land use items. 347, 357, 358, and 366. Council Member Gibson. I have an aye. Final vote is four in the affirmative, no negatives, no abstentions, and the items will be referred to the Land Use Committee for a vote. This meeting is hereby adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>